past fatal heart impact, past painful scars. In fact, I blast tasteful bars and past I back up my actions. Back on mass, grab reactions, jack attack with every word and act with class as they hear me snap. I got nothing to lose, cause I fought and felt the bruise. Now I'm not the one confused, call the shots and they produce. I ain't lost, I'm finally loose. Pick a new so bird's juice. I need the views to boost me to a new abuse of being used. Everybody wants a peace now, y'all can rest in peace now. You're dead to me, so peace out. Remember you're discreet now. Get ready for the Alrighty. Hello, hello, everybody. This is Kiru Show here. And now, before I do begin, I'm stating this in all three of these one shots. These series, I did notice that people, they do like them. So I'm doing a bit of a test. I want to see the feedback I get from these one shots. And if they do do well, or I do get good responses from it, I might do more one-shots and even turn some of them into a series. Now, that will be far later down the line, however. I still do have a lot more to cover. Now, with that being said, for those of you confused as to what a fae is, it is basically a fairy. It's another word used to describe them. Now, I had this thought during the Isekid Deku series, where a lot of things happened, but Deku, yeah, he went, his, went on his own little journey. And some time in between the long story that was, this idea popped into my head. Now, I did have an interesting concept with it, so let us begin. We will start with Izuku Midoriya, who he is currently approaching the age of 18. Now, Izuku Midoriya has lived somewhat of a normal life. In this timeline, things have been a lot different. Deku never had his interaction with All Might, and his life has been relatively somewhat different if not drastically altered. Now, Deku, he was not involved in anything continuing into UA. In fact, what did happen, that is a story for another time. But Deku's family, they evacuated whenever time did call for it, during the war with the heroes and the villains. And in that amount of time, Deku, he did step up a bit. He started to try and help out more. And through his involvement with many things during the war, he himself did actually gain a bit more confidence in himself. And he did start to try to take better care of himself. He knew that he was weak, and that he may never become a pro hero. However, that doesn't hinder or stop him. He does still want to help people, but he may not help them in the way he would like to. And Deku is currently studying and trying to get into a college, since he does want to try to take on a job that would allow him to be in the public service. Now, Deku, as I did state, is around the age of 18 years old. And you do have today, where Deku, he does come home from high school. And he is starting to wonder. Things are so boring. He's trying hard. He's been trying to study and get straight A's. Sure, he's had the occasional A- minus and B to B+. Plus. But even then, he does feel like he does need to try harder. Things are getting difficult. And even then, with the fact that school just let out and summer break is started, that does mean that he can at least start working more. He can turn his part-time job into somewhat of a full-time job where he does at least study up on a career path. And Deku, he does just wonder. What should it be for public service, though? There's a lot of different jobs here that can help people. Hmm. Maybe I could... No, wait. Support techs you have to go to college and do a bunch of other stuff like that for. 
but am I really go for it to go by hands? No, I can't sit on the sidelines. I can't become a cop either. Those guys just sort of sit on the sidelines too. Hell, they're basically like crossing guards in this day and age with the heroes. Hmm. No. That's what Deku is thinking. As you do have where he does, set down the bike he was riding. Him actually going to set it down and then go to pull something out of his back. As he does, go to disassemble it and then go to take it up. Deku, he basically took off the front wheel and then started to move the bike to the elevator. Where he was able to get in, take the bike in, and then get it back to the apartment. As Deku, he does go to set the bike down on the one tire. And they're going to set down the front of it carefully, so it doesn't scratch the concrete or the floor outside of the building, or outside of their apartment. Deku then actually going to pull out his key, as he does go to unlock the front door. Walking in as he does go to set down the tire to his left. Mom. Hmm? That's weird. Mom. Now, Deku's kind of confused. The TV is on. But... That would mean his mom's home. She's kind of picky about that. And that's what Deku's surprised about. Now, Deku does go to walk in and close the door. As he's looking around. Okay, so she's not here. Deku looking into the, into the living room. She's not sitting on the couch. There's no one at her dining table. There's a few things scattered around here and there, but the apartment isn't really dirty. Deku going to walk into the kitchen. Okay, if she's not here, then where could she be? Man, I feel like I need some water. Am I sweating already that much? Maybe it'd be good to take a shower. This being where Deku does actually turn and see his mother. Her collapsed on the ground and in the kitchen. As Deku, he does at least see... A glass on the ground. Now, Deku, he does actually go to run towards the phone, calling 911 as he has tried to talk to the operator. The operator asking questions and wondering exactly what this call might pertain to. As Deku, he does inform them, running back over to his mother and basically throwing himself down to his knees. As he does check her pulse. Now, Deku, he does try to do whatever he can, as an ambulance is set out, and Deku's mother is taken to the hospital. Now, we do actually have our Deku, he does just stand there a few hours later, and he's talking to the doctor. The man's informed Deku. They are able to narrow down exactly what they think her condition might be. However, there is a problem with that. If her condition is the one they believe it to be, she will need to undergo further test. And even then, the treatment required for it. It will be long, it will be extensive, and it will probably take years for her to recover. She will have to go through extensive physical therapy after the first few rounds. And that's even if she does get back up on her feet. Now, Deku's quite alarmed. As you do have where he does sit down and at least call his dad. Now, you do have where Hasashi does go to pick up the phone. Izuku, hello? D did you talk to the doctors? Is there any change in... Dad? Yes, what is it? It's, um... It's a lot to really say but they don't know what's wrong with mom they have theories and well one of the nurses they've given me a paper it has a list of all the things that could it could be however they want to check and make sure it's not one of the 20 major ones. 20? 20, 20? Yeah. Yeah. 
if it's at least one of those ones, it's treatable. And from what I've heard, only five of these are considered conditions that are harder to treat or considered nearly impossible to recover from in later stages. That That's, yeah, it doesn't sound too good. But mom's a fighter. You should see her. You should have seen her back then. She, well, it was great. Dad, you've, uh, you gotta come see her. I just, I don't know. Everything that's happening, everything that's going on, right now it's crazy. And well, I don't know. I'm going to be trying to get a job, okay? I already plan to try and save money for college, but I can help pay for her bed knuckle bills if it's bad, bad. Now, Hisashi, he's happy that his son is willing to help. With his job, he might not be able to come back and see Inko. And he does feel bad about that. He won't even be able to see his wife. Listen, Izuku. Yeah? I'm gonna request days off. See if I can get as much time as possible. It might be some time. But, well, I'll see what I can do, okay? In the meantime, my, so my son, um, just call me if anything happens or changes. The doctors, they try to call me over here, but I'm either at work or I'm too busy to pick up the phone. Hmm? Uh, all right, Dad. I'll let you know if I find out anything more. Now, with that being said, we will actually cut to about a month later in a different hospital where Deku, he's been here for a few hours. He got off of work and immediately came to see his mother. He works in the next city over, and it's about two hours away. But here they're doing tests, and they really started to go down that list. Now, they were quickly able to figure out more symptoms and exactly what might be wrong with Inko. She has had moments where she is conscious and able to talk, but other than that, really, it's more or less in between. Now, we do actually have where Deku, he's currently talking with a doctor. And the doctor is giving Deku his options. From what they do know, one of the illnesses that Deku's mother might be suffering from, it is one of those five that may actually be in a later stage. And if that is the case, they will not be able to save his mother. And the doctor does tell Deku that that is the honest truth. And that he's very sorry, but they've done as much as they can. Now, Deku, he does get angry. Him standing up and wanting to scream at the doctor. As... You do have where security guards, they actually do come and grab Deku. Now, the doctor does try to at least inform these men that this guy, he's going through quite a bit. And they do need to at least calm down a bit. Now, Deku, he does get thrown outside. As he does just sit down by the curb. And he does somewhat just cry. Wondering about what he can do. The amount of money in hospital bills will actually drown them in debt. His father can't pay it all off in time. And by the time he does take the time off, they're going to be planning a funeral. Now, Deku, he does at least just try to think. He just wants something to happen. Please, if there's anything that can change this, please just give him a sign. Now, 
Deku, he is just sitting there for a few minutes. And he is about to give up. However, you do actually have where Deku, he does hear at least two different people talking. As one of them, they're talking about a shrine at the top of the mountain just a few miles away. And they're talking about how they made a wish there. And that it practically came true. Now, Deku, he does hear that. The idea of a wish coming true. It might just be because he's sleep deprived. It might be because he's at his wit's end. It might just be because of it's his last hope. If some higher power intervenes and saves Deku's mother, yeah, that that's something he needs right now, please. Just... Let his mother get better. Now, we do actually have where Deku, he does walk over and ask these people exactly what they're talking about. As they do basically fill Deku in on this miraculous miracle. And Deku, he does go taking off in the direction of said mountain. Now, we do have where Deku, he does go and try to discover exactly what might be here. Now, Deku, he is climbing the mountain. And after walking a few miles, he is actually somewhat concerned whether or not this shrine they talked about would actually be here. Now, as Deku, he is walking, he does continue on, going up and up and up, and not really getting anywhere, until he does actually come to the top of the mountain. Where he does find nothing, that's not fair. There should be something here. There should be anything here. Now, Deku's just wondering, did he take the wrong directions? This has got to be a mistake, miscommunication. And he does get, just get pure angry. As he does start to scream out in anger. Now. As soon as Deku did scream, you actually did have where something did come walking out of the woods. And Deku does turn his head. To see, well, a bear. Now, Deku, he does immediately freeze. Shit. Fuck. As if my day couldn't get any worse. Now, Deku, he does at least try to think about what to do. Okay, you do this for this type of bear, you do this for this type of bear. The bear quickly standing up and going to move towards Deku. Deku immediately turning and running in a random direction. As you do actually have where Deku is following a path. Now, Deku, he does continue to run. As you do actually have where Deku, he does go to step on something and then go to slip. As he does go tumbling off the path and downhill. Now, after that does happen, Deku, he does feel himself go completely weightless before smashing down and landing on something. As Deku, he does just lay there for a second, trying to regain his thoughts and everything. If he's lucky, he didn't break his back. Or, well, any bones. No. Deku does go to set up. And look around, as, well, there's abandoned structures here, and there's an old shrine. What the hell? Who goes there? Now, Deku, he's surprised, turning his head, as he does see a woman bending down by a stream. And she's using a bowl to pick up water. Now. Deku does go to stand up. Ah, ah, fuck. Sorry, I think I've... Shit, I, I think I'm lost. Hmm. Lost, weary traveler? Uh, yeah. I do not see it as that. I see that you... have a desire, do you not? Hmm? I, I mean... Wait a minute. There's a shrine right there. D did I actually take a wrong turn? Is this the right place? 
I... I do have a wish. Okay. Well, I would be happy to hear it. What? Your wish. I would like to hear it. Maybe then, I can help. There is, however... What? Hmm? You can help my mom. You, you can save her life? Sh she's sick. We don't know what it might be. We just... Well, we're still trying to figure that out. However, if it is something serious, it's too late for her to be treated for it. She'll die. Please, if you can, just... I wish for my mom to be healthy again. I wish for her to be the way she was before she was sick. Hmm. Is that really it? Yes, I'll do anything I can. I'll, I'll pray, I'll give money. I, I don't care about the price. Hmm? Really, mortal? What? Mortal? Yes. I can grant your wish for you. However, the deal that we will have to make, it is quite... Deal. Hmm? Please, just do it. Hmm? You do not wish to hear about the repercussions? I don't care about them. Listen, please, whatever you can, save her. Now, Deku just dropped to his knees, begging. Please, please, please. Now, this is where the fairy, she's actually quite intrigued. As she is good to reach out her hand and ask Deku for his own. Now, Deku, he actually is going to do the same thing. Offering his hand to the fairy as she does actually go to grab Deku's. Now, she does tell Deku that she does see great honesty in his words. She does see great love in his heart. And she does see great, well, sorrow as well. Before she does go to stand up, and walk away from him. Deku actually going to reach out and trying to at least wanting to run after her. Is she really going to leave him here? Is she really not going to grant his wish? Please. 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 Now, the fairy does go to walk into the shrine. As she does come walking back out. And Deku, he's kind of surprised as she's going to hand something to Deku. A small little pouch as Deku does reach out his hand. Her giving it to Deku, as Deku does feel its weight. Asking her exactly what is this. That is something you need to give your mother. It will help her. Uh, okay, but what is it? That is quite simple. That is a mix of specialized herbs imbued with something only found in a world I used to live in. What? What are you? <laughs> I will give you the answer to that when you return. If you do break this solemn vow and our deal is broken, your mother's illness will return. Do you understand? Yes. Thank you. I'm going to go back. I'll come right back here afterwards. If she doesn't improve, though, what do I do? That will not happen. Please, take your time and return tomorrow. You are a good soul, and I trust you. Now, with that being said, we do have where Deku, he does leave. And the fairy does go back to what she was doing. Growing some of her specialized herbs... And, well, just living in this small little area. Now, it was quite interesting. Many humans, they do offer great things to her. However, a wish like this one, what she does have to do, and the amount of power she does have to, well, you know, release for this, it's quite interesting to her. However, in her long, long life, there is only one thing she's truly been curious about. Now, with that being said, 
we do have where Deku, he does go to his mother. And he does give her this, well, the herbs that the person in the forest did give him. Now, Deku, yeah. He basically was able to give them to his mother by putting them into her tea. And there actually wasn't for Deku, he got a phone call the next morning. Well, the doctors, they were quite stunned and surprised. Inko, she, well, earlier last night, she miraculously woke up and she got out of her hospital bed. Nurses and many other staff were urging her to rest and recuperate, but she's been up ever since. In fact, she hasn't gone to bed yet. Now, Deku immediately rushes over to the hospital, as he does sit and talk with his mother. And they are actually still running the test on her. They took her blood hours ago, and with exactly this strange change, it's, well, interesting to them. And there actually is one of the doctors to return. And Deku, he is just sitting there with his mother. He hasn't been able to talk with her in quite some time. He hasn't been able to have peace of mind. The weight that's been lifted from his shoulders. It feels great. Now, Deku, he does actually hear the doctors tell Inko all of her tests came back negative. And they did even continue to run these new exams through the ones her previous results did go through as well. It appears that she's back to full health. It's a strange phenomenon, but, well, there are cases like this before. So it's not really that out of the ordinary. Them telling Inko that she is a very lucky woman. Now, this actually is quite great for Inko. And Deku, he's very happy. He has to think that woman in the woods. The, well person who granted his wish. She must have been the keeper of the shrine. Now, Deku, he does think for a minute. What does he have to give her, though? Shit. How much money is this going to cost him? He never thought of that. He was just so caught up in the idea that she can save his mom. Now, Deku, he doesn't want panic for a minute. And Inko, she does pick up on that. As Deku does talk about how he does need to call dad. And that Deku, he will go to get her some food. He'll come right back. However, at the same time, he'll bring her a fresh change of clothes from home. Now, Inko, she actually is quite happy about that. Hospital food sucks. Now, with that being said, Deku, he does immediately go to the forest. And you do actually have where he does try to follow the same area back to this place. As you do actually have where Deku he does start sliding down the hill and eventually come to the hanging part where he does go to jump off. Now, you do actually have where the fairy, she does hear Deku. As she is going to, well, walk out of the shrine and look his direction. As she is talking about how he has returned. Yes, thank you. What you did for my, my mom, my, my family, it's, it's crazy, it's magic. What? What I did for your mother was magic. It does exist. I, 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 I just, I just don't know what to say. How much money do I owe you? It, it will take time, but I can give you it back. Ah. Uh, I see. Money is not the object. What? Yes. Money is not the object. In fact, our deal does pertain to something else. The object in question is something I've... I want. And you must give me. Uh, uh okay... What exactly would this happen to be? Hmm. Your firstborn child. What? 
Yes. You see, I've been in these woods for a long time. I've been keeping this shrine for many, many years. And this place, I do feel lonely. Along with that, I've always wondered what it would be like raising somebody to take my place, passing down my teachings to their children one day. Oh, I, I mean, it's... Well, I, I mean, I, I could, but, but I, I'm, it's just... It's, well, is there a problem? Well, I mean, we just... We we hardly know each other, so it's just... I'm not too sure when we would start... I'm sorry? Well, you're, you're asking me to give you a child. That is correct. And I don't really know you too well. We're not even in a relationship. I, I'm sorry? Yeah, that's what you mean, right? I don't even have a girlfriend. And, well, honestly, it's just... I don't know when I'd ever have kids. I see. Well, this is a predicament. Within time, I believe that you will give me what I need. Uh, li listen, I just told you, we don't know each other. And even then, I, I don't know if I'd... I... Hmm. Okay, I understand your entire theory now. Whenever you meet the right person, you must come back here, the day of their birth, and return them to me. L listen, it's just, well, we can start... <sighs> listen, I don't exactly understand these terms, but what you're asking for... It's crazy. I understand. But, well, I owe you a lot. Can I... Well... I don't know when this would happen. But we could start dating and see if that... I'm sorry? Was, was that a bit too far over the line? Human, you're quite the interesting one. What? Yes. Not many people approach a... Well, a fairy and expect to casually talk to them. Approach them for a relationship? These are quite serious bonds, you do understand that. I, I mean, it's, it's just what you're asking for is basically a commitment. In human terms, what you might be misidentifying would be considered something like that. However, I do simply just ask for one thing. Uh, okay, um, well, let's just talk first, okay? <laughs> I do wish to know more about this. He's a pure one. Perhaps maybe he could be a companion for a little bit of time. Now. With that being said, I do hope you guys enjoyed, and have an amazing night. Catch you guys in the next part.